has, has really striked me the difference as we're walking from neighborhood to neighborhood about Camden and, and how things are connected and how they're not connected. But somehow um, there's not a lot of human connection and I found that shocking. Um, it's literally um, cut off by rivers geographically. But um, one of the things that, that struck me really hard when I first worked in Camden six years ago was the fact that there are so many different small businesses here and small agencies, but they don't really connect with each other. And I think that directly connected, you know, affected our youth is they don't connect with each other. So how can we really connect with the community? you know, connect with families and obviously our youth if they're not, you know, responding with one another. You know, the organization I worked with before, we basically stood on our own. Um, and what really all struck me was the fact that I had no idea what, you know, HopeWorks was when I was working, you know, at my previous organization. In fact, I worked in a church right next door to here, had no idea that HopeWorks was here. And it was due, you know, to, you know, just... I think a lack of networking, you know, and, you know, nobody's fault, but, you know, I think that's one of the things that kind of just stood out, you know, just kind of doing it on, everybody's doing it on their own. And it directly affects the community and it directly affects, you know, the families and obviously our youth. It is the massive highway that goes right through Camden and literally cuts North Camden out from the downtown area. And even this morning I was driving, I was in downtown Camden and had to think about how I got across the highway to be able to come to North Camden and get to work. And there's only a couple roads to do that with. And if you miss one of those roads, you're, you're sort of stuck in, in each area. And to me, that is very significant for how we connect in this area, how we communicate in the city. Um, we're literally stuck in neighborhoods cut off by these highways. So you Working in Camden, I've noticed a lot of disconnect, especially with the school systems here. Um, there's a lack of support uh, from the school district and from other schools that our youth go to, especially related to um, academic achievement, future planning, and bullying. Um, there's also really uh, limited opportunities for youth who have dropped out of school. Um, a little bit about that experience of what life is like in Camden. It's... Well unsafe. You need, you can't walk around certain neighborhoods. You can't, like wear a certain color, clothing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's ruined by guns, property, and like abandoned houses. My view on Camden is we're less connected as a community because of like the violent crimes and um, how the community is more distant from each other because of the fact of these crimes. People do feel safe to walk outside. I think Salesforce can help uh, definitely be an opportunity um, to help connect educators um, in this area. I do believe Hope Burks is a very safe place. Honestly, when I come in here, I, I don't even feel like I'm in Camden anymore for some reason why. Um, it's very secure. The people here make you feel loved and welcomed, um, especially the greeting when you walk in. It's fanatical. Um, yes, I do believe Hope Burks is a very, very secure, safe place. Um, and my thing is with like internet and technology, we can find a way to connect the community as one whole, as a whole unit. So they can feel safe, they can feel as though that they can go outside and know people that have felt just as safe as them. Um, for our community to grow in exponentially as far as it can. And I think that's one of the things that Hope does as well, is bring the youth together. Um, community, everything, if the youth would just find more resources like Oakworks so, so and get involved. I need a lot of help in Camden, a lot of help. We still, we still got hope for us. We still hope in Camden.